Hello and welcome again to another short educational video from investingsuccess.ca. In this video I want to take a very quick peek at the concept of planetary declination. Now as we know, planets, including the planet Earth, move around the Sun in a plane of motion. That plane of motion is referred to as the ecliptic. However, all is not perfectly balanced in that plane of motion called the ecliptic. You see, as a planet moves around the Sun in the plane called the ecliptic, that planet will experience a little bit of wobble. It's not perfectly balanced within that plane. So over time, as the planet moves around the Sun, it may be slightly above the ecliptic, and then it will fall back to being at the ecliptic, it will fall to below the ecliptic, and then it'll come back up to the ecliptic and get above and this this process of going from above the ecliptic to being at the ecliptic to below and back again continues to repeat itself over and over and over again. Now I've been looking at this planetary motion this wobble of the planets that we call declination I've been looking at it in the context of price swings on stocks and commodities. I've got a lot of work to do yet but uh, making progress and I want to share a little bit of that with you today. Here's a chart of copper, December 2013 uh, copper futures, daily chart. Um, what I've plotted on here are the declinations of Mars, Mercury and Venus. Now these are the, the, the three fastest moving planets in the cosmos and as such they exhibit changes in declination quite rapidly. So for example, uh, what I've plotted on here uh, for each of these three planets are those times when declination is extreme negative. I've plotted on here the times when the declination comes back to zero, that is being right at the ecliptic, and then I've plotted on here the times when the declination is extreme positive, above the ecliptic. Now let's take a look at, uh, let's start with Mercury. Uh, Mercury is shown in the red arrows, and you can see that back in January 2013, Mercury was exhibiting extreme negative declination. Uh, copper prices shortly thereafter had a little bit of a rally uh, before peaking. And um, in April 2013, we had uh, Mars and Venus both around about the same time reaching zero declination. And look what happened right after that. Copper prices fell. And oddly enough, they stopped falling just as Mercury was going through zero declination and prices peaked roughly around the time when Mercury reached extreme positive declination and right around that time, uh, we're talking June 2013, um, Venus also reached uh, extreme positive declination. Um, I don't know where I'm going with all of this research. Uh, it certainly is intriguing. I have to look at more than just copper. I want to look at it um, for other commodities and some individual stocks as well. But I do think that there is a relation between uh, the declination of these fast-moving planets and human emotion. And remember that it is human emotion uh, that causes us to buy or sell. It is human emotion that ultimately is the, the driver, the, the influencer of the financial markets. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. I do encourage you to visit me from time to time at my website, uh, www.investingsuccess.ca. Um, take a look at the new service that we've uh, recently introduced, uh, the Astrological E-Alert. Um, take a look at some of my blog posts on astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com. And uh, if you'd like to dabble more in financial astrology, um, if you're having some doubts about the whole thing, perhaps the bull, the bear, and the planets will convince you that there's more to the financial markets than what you may think. Um, if you've come to accept that, that uh, human emotion does in fact drive the markets, take a look at The Lost Science, where I take you on a deeper journey into uh, esoteric math and uh, astrological techniques. So thank you for taking the time to watch this uh, brief little video today. Uh, have a great day and uh, good trading. Take